Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, Blue Lotus Gardens. My name is Blue Phoenix, my pronouns are she, her. Welcome to today's Plant Care Tuesday video. I am so excited to share this one with y'all because it was an experiment that I tried out a month ago and I was like, I gotta see if this will work and if maybe I could show you all and hopefully maybe y'all could try it out as well. So today we're talking about codex plants. Codex plants to me are like potatoes. <laughs> they look like potatoes. They basically are this uh, hard like plant uh, where their base looks kind of like a, a looks like a rock almost as well but brown um, and then it starts to vine out from the top part of it. There's different types of codex plants. The codex plant that we're speaking to speaking about today it's called Syningia tubiflora and I'll definitely keep it keep, I'll definitely add the name on the screen for y'all so that way you all know um, the, the plant as well but the plant is actually outside and so we're going outside with my chickens to show y'all the plant. The Syningia tubiflora is native to Uruguay and Argentina, so Paraguay, and um, this is a flowering species of the Gesneraceae, Gesneraceae, I'll put the name on the screen of the family, um, so that's where it belongs to, and I think it's such a wonderful plant. It's the, the flowers that bloom from it are trumpet-like flowers and you can tell that this is a syningia because of the red stem on it so also in the b-rolls that I showed y'all as well um, and so the way I did it from the split propagation because that's the method that you do whenever you are whenever you are removing a piece of the plant so this way you could do it with also, uh, Maranta is the Marantaceae um, family as well. All you would need to do is make sure that you callus it correctly. So um, making sure that the exposed wound isn't in an area where it's going to get infected or have like soil on top of it because that's a really easy way of getting it infected. Um, but that will be part of plant propagation. Um, I've also been able to water propagate it through cutting of the, the stems. So what I did was I cut a piece of the stem and I placed it in water and um, I left it in there for about a month, a month and a half I would say. And that worked also. I found that out because of somewhere I was reading on Reddit and someone was uh, talking about it. I wish I could share that post because I can't find it anymore now because they had some really interesting information on there. But that's how I did it. I think theirs took a year though, but I had supplemental light on it. So uh, that probably helped it a little bit faster. Then, so as you see here, these are the roots. It did pretty well, I, I would say in water, only I didn't, um, this last week I didn't clean the water and so as you could tell it's dirty and now it has mealy bugs. To clean the, the plant from before placing it in, in any substrate because I don't want to get the whole plant infected but what I can also do is cut off over here like this bottom part callus this part off and then place this part into um, soil. And what that would do, it will form a codex plant underneath the soil. And as it grows, it will have the codex become more exposed. And then that way you could just like maneuver it the way you need to. I kept it in this like tall planter. So it was just basically the 
caudex on top of here with the soil substrate underneath and you want to make sure they use a rocky porous type soil when you're when you're caring for it so that's something to look that's something to look out for whenever you are planting this in a so when you are planting this in the substrate that you like so for care it's actually been quite easy and the, and this one actually likes it um, a little bit more watering than usual but not too much so a good light watering on top will do well and i usually do that like twice twice a week maybe more if it's if the because i do keep it in uh, supplemental light if it does get dried out a little bit more than usual i'll definitely add just a tad bit more water on top this plant does like to get more water um, and so the more water you give it regularly the faster it grows so that's how that's what i've noticed from this plant um, and as you see i keep it in this bowl with the plants on top of it so it just basically grows right on top of the substrate this is my <laughs> This is my propagation bowl for outside and so basically and so basically it just stays out here this is the light that it gets so this is like when someone says like filtered bright indirect light this is what it means like uh, there's still light going through the area but it's not as heavy as it would normally be um, if it was like directly on top of it and i believe it could handle a little bit more direct sun um, I wouldn't do it but this from Argentina like that is native to South America so it could definitely handle some sun you know grow more but the more sun you give it the more energy it takes and then the, the, the soil will dry up faster also so you'll have to keep up with the water as well so that's something you want to kind of keep in mind when you are caring for this plant um, on your own. You'll definitely see this on my shop. I think right now, currently, as of July, what is this, July 28th, there there's like plants on sale right now, but currently there's, uh, you'll see it eventually soon. I just want to make sure there's enough, and I also trade a little bit, so I'll definitely be trading a little bit first, and then sell it, so. Feeding, I've been feeding it with um, Super Thrive, every time I water it, so it's been doing well. And then it also has been receiving just natural rainwater because there was a little bit of like rain that I, rainwater that I had poured up. And so I've been um, giving it that as well. Um, and then that did really well with it and showed a lot of growth. So, so next we'll have to propagate a little bit of this because I do want to cut, cut, the, cut some of this up so that way I can, uh, Share some with friends, but also get some more and see a flower. I think that would be really cool. Fortunately, there's not an area where I could take some from it. Usually, there would be like a nice. I mean, you could from here and here, but I am not too confident with my propagation skills on caudic plants yet. So, but these would be something that you could eventually cut off and place it into a, like a substrate like I did. This one was just basically um, already kind of falling off so I removed it and I just went on from there. And I placed it under actually uh, like blue, pink, white lights for about a week or so and I kept checking on it to see how it does and it's, it's doing pretty, it, would, it was doing pretty well because you could tell that it's rooting when it's a little pushback on it and there's like a tugging to it so that's how you know that it is uh, rooting in there but we're going to plant this one up and also cut some of these up so that way I can uh, sh show y'all. From my understanding I believe you can cut it uh, all the way down to up to where it like leaves enough energy for the new plants to reproduce like the new foliage so what i do is i'm going to cut as you see it here right here and that will leave about four leaves on there this is what i cut what i'm going to do 
do now this time is experiment even more and cut in between each of the, the stems like right here. Cut off over here. See? right here as well. And if you look closely in between, there is the node right here where the new growth will emerge. So this little white, that little speck right there in between the stem and the right there, that is um, the node where the new growth will emerge from there. So we'll place all of these in the water and have them grow out like that. And then when I take y'all inside to my studio, y'all will see the area where I keep it. So that way maybe y'all have like a, an idea of how to do it yourself. Like where, how you, how you want to get, have your setup. For this one, we're gonna cut over here as well. So glad I get to Some of the chickens are getting used to one another, so they're kind of going through their moment where they peck at one another. And I just make sure that they don't hurt one another too much. And then this will be a good example of how the new growth appears from in between. You see like that from the, the leaf, the petiole, the stem, that's the that's where the new growth will emerge and so i think like understanding the structure of the plant and how it grows and how it does well in different types of environments will help you kind of find the balance for your care on how to care for each type of plant that you're seeking to care for Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you get to like so many. That should be enough because you don't want to. You also want to make sure you keep a balance to this, and you don't want to like over propagate it, so that way it doesn't have energy to produce for the new foliage. That's how you do it. All right, we're gonna go into my into my studio, and then um, so I can show y'all the way the the propagation is set up. So that, that way y'all have like an idea of how to set up your water propagation. I always try to do it so it's easy for me to get to, but also the plants can receive all the lighting and watering that they need. Here's my soil mixture. It's, I kind of like for when I'm propagating plants, I use uh, a mixture of heavy bark with some leca bits behind. There's also perlite, um, fox farm in there as well. And then I just make sure that there's like a hole for the plant. Place the plant in there, as you see. So after like a month of propagating it, you could definitely uh, just place it back into soil or your, your preferred substrate and you have a new plant. And that's how we make plants here at my shop and what I like to do is uh, make sure I know like how to care for them and like share information on it so that way you can care for them as well. And as always, there is merch available in our shop and that gets shipped from our third supplier directly to you. So. 
that makes it a little bit easier on me with making sure I take care of the chickens and um, the plants for at the moment at least. And here they are. So here they are. That's where I'll keep them until they get, I start to see some roots on them. So I think that's so cool. Hope y'all enjoy this video. This is where I keep uh, the syningula while it's rooting. So, and it was doing really well like that. So if you have blue lights like this, um, it should do well, um, but I would check on it just in case every now and then. But this is all from my fan knowledge. So just so y'all know. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thank you all so much for all the new subscribers out there. And if you would like uh, to see any future Plant Care Tuesday videos, let me know in the comments down below. I'm always happy to read your comments and you all have a wonderful day wherever it's at. Thank you all so much for your support in helping our channel grow. And if you like this video, like it. Thank you very much. Y'all take care. Bye everyone.